Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, attending the episode nine of the webinar uh, series related to uh, Herbal uh, Project. Uh, today we are uh, uh, as a keynote speaker, uh, Mr. Watunyu, uh, who we are sit today uh, from uh, Eva Plant. Uh, he will uh, explain very soon in a presentation the type of uh, uh, herbs and product uh, that this company is producing. And uh, uh, the idea of this webinar series is to promote uh, Thai pharmacopoeia, Thai herbal products, uh, more and more, uh, and allow the Italian market to better understand uh, uh, what uh, they can find and benefit from Thailand. Um, the project uh, is uh, a project that we have started uh, about uh, uh, two months ago uh, with the Thai Minister of the Public Health, and more specifically with the Division of Herb of Economy Department of Thai Traditional and Alternative Medicine of the Ministry of Health. Uh, Thailand has a, a huge, uh, huge history in the production and sourcing of herbs. At the very beginning uh, in history, uh, Thailand was sourcing uh, China. Uh, and uh, more recently, uh, talking about uh, 2014, 2015, uh, Thai government has started a new campaign to uh, push this uh, uh, industry uh, up to a new level to globalize uh, the, the local industry and becoming more international. Uh, but today, let me give you like, a quick introduction about our keynote speaker, uh, Mr. Watunyu, that I thank for being with us. And he's currently the founder and managing director of Eva Plant Company Limited. And he graduated with a bachelor degree of science in Thai traditional medicine as a main uh, major. The knowledge and wisdom of Thai traditional medicine has been accumulated and is committed to elevating Thai herbs in the international level, especially the development of processing and upstream raw materials to improve the quality of life of farmers and those involved in the supply chain cycle, as well as to improve the quality of life of consumers who receive high quality, effective products. Mr. Watunyu is interested in using uh, various advanced technologies such as uh, ultrasonication, microwave, drying, etc. And by doing both uh, self uh, uh, research and development and joint research with university to create outstanding value in the global market. Uh, Mr. Watunyu, like, uh, first of all, welcome and thank you for being with us uh, this afternoon. And with no much further ado, I will leave our virtual floor, floor to you. And uh, you can share your presentation. And uh, again, thank you a lot for your time today. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, greetings, everyone. So, what club from Thailand? Today, I'm uh, glad and honored to speak with you all. And uh, thank you for the Thai Italian Chamber of Commerce for, for this chance. Okay. So, let me start. Okay, today I'm going to talk about the, the challenge and the new alternative solution of the, anti, uh, of the aging society. As you may know, everyone, I think is everyone knows now that uh, anti-aging is coming. You can see, you can, when, when you walk around, uh, you can see uh, around you that uh, a lot of uh, aging people, a lot of elderly is uh, more and more now from the UN report about the situation of the world's elderly. It found that uh, about 10% or one in nine of world population now is aged more than 60 years and will be increasing to one in five or 20% in 2050. This is a very huge number for, for now than we've been, when, when, when we are uh, uh, seeing now and back in the past. And also the, not, not only the, the quantity, it's about the age, the average age of the Elderly will be a more, it called a super age society, which is the, uh, the people who age 35 more will uh, have uh, more and more in the future, increase to 2 billion, so about 20% from the world's population. And the last notice, the last interesting point is about 
that the developed country will enter the aging society before the developing countries. If it, it, it from the uh, better welfare and also the better quality of life that elderly uh, may stay longer than the developing countries. This map is about the percentage and of the population demographic of the world population that it, uh, is uh, the forecast from the 2050 that uh, some region in, in the world will have a uh, very uh, much more elder the age people, especially in Europe, as you can see, the, uh, or almost every country in Europe will enter the uh, aging society, maybe the first region, and then, then uh, Canada, USA, or then Asia. The challenge in the aging society is about uh, how, we, uh, how we respond to the expectation from the uh, age people. But when, when we uh, see, when we build the uh, uh, social, we will find a small senior citizen, small senior citizen uh, in, in the social in, in the world will increase. And that means a lack of the worker, lack of the younger people. And it resulting in the slowing uh, economy because uh, not, not many uh, age people will uh, have a, a more of a purchasing power than, than the average of peoples. And that, that, that brings to the, some challenge about the products, service and technology that uh, companies that the uh, uh, world needs to produce more products, uh, invent more products to serve the, the age people to, for, for, for the better age society and also the service and technology like uh, modern apps, telemedicine that really is about the health because uh, the age people will be the main uh, main market group in the future soon and very soon. Uh, what about the expectation? What what the concern of the elderly or age people? I have found that uh, there is a survey that called ERA38. It's about the protocol, it's uh, not a protocol, sorry, it's about the, the method of survey that a researcher do uh, to, to survey the many, many of our elderly. Yeah, it, it actually has 10 of topics, but I reduce it to eight because some topics may not relate directly about the, the product or service that can, that, that can serve the elderly. So I reduce for uh, better understand it into eight topics. And you can see like, uh, for instance, uh, physical function, cognitive, uh, appearance, sleep quality, and so on. This is uh, the, the, the the point, the topic that we, we need to concern, to, to focus, to, to understand the elderly, the age people, what, 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 what they need, what they expect. And because of we are talking about the herbs, uh, the webinar is about the herbs, I, I, I'm, I'm going to enter about the, this topic with, with the herbs now. And, these herbs are like the most commonly used for the elders, such as the uh, ginkgo, turmeric, ginger, garlic. Some of these are uh, very common spices that are used, used in the kitchen for centuries for a very long time. But some herbs are, are like uh, medicinals from the overseas, such as uh, Eswakanda or Makka from the, uh, Africa or Holy Basil from Asia. But it, it become a uh, we become a more demand in the future, of course. And today, I would like to introduce, uh, maybe we can call it a new choice or alternative solution for elderly, for age people. It's uh, only, one, only one herb, only one Thai herb that I would like to uh, introduce you. It's called the black garlic gale or black ginger. The scientific name is uh, Skyveria paviflora. As you can uh, see the topics of uh, expectations, it has, uh, I reduced to eight, but the black teacher could respond, could uh, serve the demand from uh, five from eight, which is, I think is very interesting herbs for, for the market now. Uh, the, the main, the most uh, interesting is about the physical function. Uh, actually, sexual function is very interesting, but if we're if, if looking at it in the uh, age people market, it may be not the, the, the most uh, potential one, but still, still interesting. 
and the other uh, properties or benefit is also very really good for the age people as well. It's, and, and it's not only focused on age. Uh, this herb can be used in many, many uh, uh, business or many, many uh, target market. May I uh, swap into the continue to the, the product presentation that I already have is uh, this herb is my uh, best selling product from uh, in, in my company. Uh, the concept is like the most comprehensive herb for health and body care today and also the age people as well uh, that, that I am going to talk today. The black tangel is a uh, black tangel is originate in Thailand, especially uh, for commercial production or commercial scale that uh, it 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 uh, how, uh, grow and harvest a lot in Thailand. It also available in in uh, foreign countries like uh, Burma, Laos, and uh, Vietnam. But the the biggest biggest crop biggest uh, commercial plantation is in Thailand. Is located the, the, the growing area is located in the north uh, north region of Thailand, and it, it must be grow in the on, on the mountain at a, a very high sea level from like a eight hundred meters above from the sea level. We we call it Thai the Krachai Dam, or someone may call it Thai Ginseng because it's similar to the Korean Ginseng, that is a tonic herb as well, similar to and. This herb also uh, called by the Thai traditional medicines uh, agencies that uh, is uh, like king of the Thai herbs. So, and, and, and from the traditional use, it's used for the uh, tonic herb for like a really long time from, from the hill tribes and in the traditional medicine books. As you can see, this is uh, the local products and the, some of the traditional products in Thailand that uh, black ginger is used for. For instance, the uh, herbal liquor, or we call yadong in Thailand, is a uh, mixed herbs that uh, extract with, with the ethanol, with, with the alcohol, and, and, and we will drink it like a tonic uh, uh, herbal liquor. The modern or innovative product is like a herbal food supplement in capsule, uh, energy drink, uh, Herbal juice or mixed with the vitamin, or even the black ginger wine that uh, some some of local people in Thailand uh, process into the bring bring the black ginger process into wine. <clears throat> the active compound of black ginger is is the the flavonoid groups, and in, in that flavonoid it has a subgroup that called polymethoxyflavone. It has the three to five main uh, active ingredients that call dimethoxyflavone or DMF. The second one is a pentamethoxyflavone or PMF, and the third one is trimethoxyflavone or TMF. These uh, ingredients are the main active compound that uh, really uh, that 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 proved by scientific uh, research that it has uh, many benefits to the body and health. The first benefit I would like to introduce is about the physical and strength of the body. The mechanism is like the black ginger will bring uh, the fats in the body, bring more fats in the body to, to uh, uh, burn into energy. So it, it generates uh, more energy at first. And after you have uh, more energy, you can you, you could have a better of a physical fitness. And it also uh, helps directly with the muscles uh, working. It, it also increases the muscle endurance. So the user will feel less, less fatigue when doing some activities or uh, have a workout or something like that. And yeah, I think it's very interesting for the, uh, for the elderly because the, one of the expectations, one of the topics of the elderly is about the fatigue that uh, maybe you after you have a more age, you feel like a more fatigue, you can file and uh, you can do less activities than usual. The second uh, main, in, uh, main benefit is about the sexual performance, but I, I, I won't uh, focus, focus much about this because it's not uh, maybe in, in, in the elderly, um, uh, it's it, it not uh, more um, uh, used much about this. But the, the, the point is uh, the black ginger has a lot of uh, 
has a remarkable of the uh, anti PDE5 or anti uh, phosphorylated 5 that uh, exhibits similar to the wire graph, but it's uh, like uh, natural forms. So it could help, uh, maybe not in early, but uh, for the other markets, like uh, for the erectile dysfunction in people, it could help a lot. And also in, in for, for the uh, general means that uh, need, need, need more energy, need, need more the uh, benefit about this. And, uh, and also the, the athletes, uh, the, the, uh, the sport, people that uh, uh, exercise, it, it also increased about the testosterone as well. The third benefit uh, is about the effects, the benefits that relate to many organs in the body. So I include all as a body system that the black ginger could benefit. The first one is the right side of the, this slide is about to, it, it promotes the nitric oxide production. So the nitric oxide uh, effects about the vasodilator or, or uh, it expands the blood vessels size, uh, resulting in the more blood that can be circulated in the body. And at the end of organ, you can see it after you, you have more blood circulation, the end organ like may, uh, may be affected by that, such as uh, relief the core hand or co feet. And, and that also uh, uh, relates about the uh, uh, erectile dysfunction as well, because uh, more blood will go to the reproductive organ to, to make it better. <laughs> Another interesting is about the uh, uh, Enhance um, fat metabolism as I uh, described before that uh, it brings more fat to burn to, to get more energy. That, that is uh, the mechanism of uh, the active compound from the black ginger. So uh, the, it, it also make uh, the fat burning or the, the weight control property as well. So it's good for the, for the elderly that uh, have a problem with a cardiovascular disease or the, uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, diabetes and uh, uh, obesity and uh, some flavonoids and some active compound also good for the immune immune system in, in the body. The last benefit or property I would like to introduce is is about uh, autistic oh, sorry aesthetic health and. Um, it could, it, it has a, a lot of flavonoids, so some flavonoids act as a anti-aging and uh, the, the anti-aging and, and antioxidant properties. The interesting one is uh, the black ginger extract and its, its active uh, ingredient is act with, with the sirtuin genes about the age. Uh, the sirtuin gene is about the, uh, the gene that uh, control about the expression and also repairing the DNA of the body. So if we have a more certain that uh, uh, activation in, in, in the body, so it means uh, we, we, we could have a, a life longer or more age uh, for, for, for the adult. Uh, the, the research found that the black tincture extract has a more five times more the certain gene when compared to the resveratrol. And the uh, active compound, it is it, active ingredient also have a uh, 50 times, uh, uh, 50 times more than the resveratrol. The other interesting is about the anti-glycation. The glycation is about the sugar that binding with the protein or the fat in the body and effect to the cells. Uh, it is so the aging of the, 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 the cell degradation. If we have a, a if we have the herbs or the extract or the act, any any uh, active ingredient that could reduce the uh, the glycation uh, mechanics, it will help us about the age and the cells health better health, and resulting in the it also helps about the wrinkle on the face because the cells is uh, life longer. The other is about similar effects from the antioxidants such as uh, anti-inflammation and anti-allergen is from the flavonoids in the black ginger as well.
And as you can see, the black ginger has a lot of uh, benefits from many, many uh, target groups. And I think it's uh, a good potential for many products as well that yeah, the black ginger can be used in, in many, many products such as uh, uh, common dosage form like uh, capsules or maybe process or maybe mix and formulate into the industry drink or sport nutrition. The, the cream and cosmetic also good as well because uh, the, the antioxidant and anti-aging of uh, uh, the black ginger one. The black ginger that we have, uh, we provide from, from the raw material such as the dry chips, the powder, and extract powder and the extract liquid is uh, for the cosmetic grade, for the cosmetic use. Okay, and that's all, all the, the black ginger. And I would like to uh, show the contact detail for just in case of everyone, uh, any, any, anyone good who uh, may be interested to uh, inquiry further for that. Thank you. Thank you very much for the presentation, uh, Mr. Watunyu. Uh, may I ask you uh, something that uh, it was in uh, the beginning of the slide uh, uh, of your presentation. Um, I saw, uh, I saw. let's say, one of the herbs that you mentioned is uh, maca that look like uh, uh, garlic. Uh, what, what is maca? Uh, if maca. I'm not wrong, the, the name. Maca is, is an African herb that are uh, used for the energy for the stimulant. It's like uh, similar to coffee. Oh, okay. But, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but, but not, 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 the ex not exactly the same, but uh, something similar to coffee that uh, it has a stimulant effect. Mm. Okay. So it, it also provides energy, uh, uh, give you a, a st stimulate your body. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, like for uh, uh, for the participant, you can drop uh, your question in the chat, and I will address uh, Mr. Watenu of Eva Plant uh, if you have any question. And uh, um, I, I would like to ask uh, something about uh, um, the local market in Thailand. Um, uh, of course, uh, we are recovering from uh, a COVID uh, situation that was very challenging for uh, all over the world for many companies. Uh, can you give us uh, maybe some, uh, um, I don't know, feedback of uh, the situation, maybe uh, a good channel to sell uh, uh, your product or uh, how Thailand is reacting for uh, herbal medicine? Um, uh, can you share uh, uh, your experience with us? Uh, anything okay. that you'd like to share? Okay, okay. Uh, first of all, I, I, I have to say that I have to uh, honestly say that I, my company is mainly exporter, not, not, not focusing on the domestic market. Mm -hmm. So the, regarding the COVID, it, it affects a little bit, but the, 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 the products and regular customers still uh, going as the same. But for, for the domestic market, um, uh, some herbs is uh, more has more demands that maybe that that may be related to the the COVID such as uh, androcaphalize, finger root. Uh, these two product is very famous during the COVID, and but but now the, the trend is uh, just, uh, just 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 increased now. Mm -hmm. And, and um, yep, um, please yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, no, I just want to ask you about uh, e-commerce. Uh, um, uh, for example, we saw in uh, Thailand, for example, like e-commerce is very strong. Uh, and uh, some of the platform we are working with, uh, for example, they mentioned that, uh, uh, for example, cosmetics uh, is one of the top sale uh, right after food, for example. Um, for your uh, experience, uh, uh, talking about uh, uh, food supplement, botanical food supplement, uh, do you think that uh, is a trend that is growing also because you mentioned of uh, aging society at the beginning? Yes, uh, the, 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 the food supplement market in Thailand is uh, uh, it's very challenged because of the Thailand, uh, the, 
the laws and regulation of Thailand is uh, very strict when when compared to overseas, like maybe in uh, Europe or USA. Yeah, the only some herbs that can be allowed to use as a food supplement and other must be registered as a traditional medicines. Uh, but the other challenge is uh, the Thailand has uh, maybe the most uh, severe of the aging society in, in, in Asia or in, in the Southeast Asia from, from the information I have. Like uh, we, we have a very low uh, birth rate and, and uh, and, and uh, more of the aging people when we compare to the uh, foreign countries. So um, uh, the products that, uh, that, that relate about the uh, age population could, 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 could be very good uh, in Thailand from, I mean, for, for the future soon. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for sharing uh, uh, this information. And uh, I think like um, one of the herbs that you mentioned is uh, in Thai, Krachai Dam. Yes. Uh, um, I remember that, like when we have a conversation about it, uh, you mentioned that um, uh, also it must be regulated in Thailand because, uh, uh, because of the effect uh, is a uh, uh, pretty strong, uh, or uh, there should be some kind of regulation. Um, uh, can you share more information about this type of plants and uh, um, anything that uh, uh, could be interesting in terms of uh, uh, research and development? Pardon? I'm not sure the question. Uh, yes, just uh, if you would like to uh, share some more information about uh, uh, Krachai Dam. Oh, the research? You mean the research? Yes. Uh, let's say something that you want to share because uh, uh, we saw there are many types of uh, uh, krachai that are used in uh, herbal medicine. Uh, but actually, krachai dam, I don't know if it's uh, a rare plant or uh, uh, anything that you feel like sharing with us. Uh, just a moment, please. Uh, yes. I, I I didn't prepare the, the like the, the 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 list, but I will show you the research I have. I mean the the the, the scientific research that uh, relate to the black ginger that I have. And uh, if uh, this is uh, the, the the file of the scientific research that relates, and I, I downloaded it. And um, if if anyone would like to. Uh, uh, request me for the, the research, the scientific research uh, behind the black teacher. I can send the files later by maybe by email or the, I can show, uh, send you the list of the research that, 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 that the benefit that claim in, in, in the slides in the presentation because uh, all, all the information in the, in the present, uh, I, all the information in the presentation is, is uh, I, I mean, I, I uh, make make it from the scientific research. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Something like about that. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I just want to um, ask uh, some some yes. information because, for example, uh, black ginger is something that is not common to see in uh, in Europe at all. So uh, sometimes when we talk about uh, ginger, we think about uh, maybe on the market you find, let's say, uh, the ginger in general from uh, uh, Chinese medicine, or uh, also the red ginger from Korea that is in a European market. 
Yeah, but black ginger is absolutely new, I would say. Yes, so yes, it's like a, the the novel herb for for now. So I I, I think it's a very very interesting, and it, it could be a potential herb in in the uh, Europe and also the other regions such as the uh, USA because I. I already uh, have some uh, USA customers, uh, but but in Europe it's not still still not 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 no much not maybe maybe not not popular yet. But but I think it's soon it, it will be the, the the popular herb one in the future. Yeah, we we think so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, can I ask you maybe one last question? Um, uh, you mentioned that Eva Plant uh, uh, Company Limited is uh, focusing on international market and yes. export. Uh, uh, is it challenging to receive, uh, um, uh, let's say, custom clearance for a certificate for the export license uh, for your product? Let's say, is it, uh, is it, do you have a comp, um, countries that are more challenging than others in order to export your product? Uh, would you like to share a bit more about uh, uh, some step that uh, you have to do uh, okay. for, for the export? Okay, I see. Uh, the it, it's, it's not it's not much problem about, about that because uh, from 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 uh, shipper side, I have all the certificates such as uh, like a GMP, like a, a COA, MSCS. The general shipping document is is uh, well prepared here. But for the importer side, uh, I have to uh, discuss further with, with the customer, with, with the importer for which uh, special uh, special uh, required documents in, in case. Uh, for, for instance, if, 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 uh, if uh, any Italian importer would like to, to, to import it, uh, we, 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 we should discuss further for any document that uh, Italian custom uh, request for, and I, I, I will prepare everything and make sure that the shipment will be done uh, properly and, and yes, and, and uh, success for that. Uh, yes, let's say every, every country is, uh, uh, is different uh, when we talk about custom. It's a bit uh, difficult, uh, uh, probably for, for Europe, uh, but we saw like many products from Thailand actually access Europe from the Netherlands. So usually probably the, um, in terms of logistic and custom clearance is a bit uh, faster to access the, from the Netherlands when we talk about uh, food uh, or products uh, from Thailand. Uh, Italy is a bit challenging, but uh, let's say we have companies that can support in the certification. That's, uh, uh, that's for sure we can help you also to connect. Mm -hmm. Okay, very well. I, I don't see um, a question in the chat, but in case, uh, uh, okay, uh, just uh, a question pop up now. Uh, is there any particular herb that you suggest for anti-aging cosmetics? Oh, um, <laughs> this question is uh, challenging because uh, it, it, has a, it, it has a lot, a lot of uh, herbs that are relating about uh, anti-aging for that, that can be used in cosmetic. Mm, but for sure, okay, let, let, let's say in, in for to, to, to make the question uh, uh, narrow, <laughs> let's say for, for, for my company products, I can say like that. for is that the black tincture, the Pirelia Medifica, uh, curcumin, because I have I also have the uh, nano encapsulation curcumin. Um, yeah, uh, like uh, uh, what is called? Uh, oh, just a moment. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the Kotakula. Ah, uh, the centella, yes, centella is also uh, very good for antioxidant and uh, anti-aging as well, and the uh, soothing properties that are available in Thailand. Like I, I, I can't say all herbs. And I, I mean, this uh, uh, many, many herbs that can be used for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Thank you very much, and of course for the participant, we will. Uh, 
uh, help to connect with uh, Mr. Watunyu of uh, Eva Plant Company Limited uh, for the future. And uh, of course, if uh, uh, you make available your presentation, we will uh, share it with the participant. Uh, for further questions, also to help them to connect to you. Um, uh, let's say uh, if there are no further questions, um, I just want to mention that the next episode of the, the Tire Bus series will be on the 29th of June. Uh, on 29th of June, we are going to talk about uh, uh, Thai cannabis strains. Uh, and uh, um, the topic is uh, interesting because the, the law has been updated just recently, less than 24 hours ago. And of course, it uh, can be uh, some uh, opportunity for companies. And I think uh, not only in Italian, but all over the world, uh, hemp cannabis uh, is uh, uh, giving a new push uh, in terms of uh, pharmaceutical and other application in terms of uh, implementing industry opportunities. Um, in the meantime, uh, Mr. Watanyu, I want to thank you uh, a lot for uh, your presentation and your time this afternoon. We really appreciate uh, uh, the insightful presentation about uh, black ginger and the products that you can make out of it. Okay, thank you very much for today as well, and uh, thank you for uh, uh, every every participant that uh, gave me a chance for today. I, I hope you. Uh, I hope we can have a further uh, business or any inquiry is, is welcome. So I hope, hope to uh, working with you in in, in uh, some way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, like we push for uh, this target. And uh, again, thank you everyone for participating. In, uh, in a couple of days, we will upload the recording uh, of this uh, webinar as the other on the YouTube channel of the TCC. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, we will meet again on 29 June. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Watt. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ciao, Alberto. Ciao, Luca. Thank you. Bye-bye.